Hi guys! So I am now officially a college graduate. Hopefully if my math grade comes in and I pass, then I'm graduating college. So me and Alicia, she's over there taking pictures right now, but Brittany came for the ceremony. My whole family's here too. Everyone is here, um, but I'm very happy. It's been a lot of long, hard work, right. sort of. I kind of just did the bare minimum, but I'm here, Cut. hopefully. Um, so the ceremony was pretty long, and now Thank we're gonna you. go out to lunch and have um, some yummy food. We're going to Farber's Table, so it's a farm-to-table style restaurant. So very excited about that. Poor Britt has to go to work, so that sucks. But she sat through the ceremony, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Hi guys, so I feel like I've not caught up with you in a very long time. The last Last vlog footage I had, I was graduating college, which I was about to say high school. I graduated college um, and I spent the day with my family. We went to a really nice lunch. Farmer's table was amazing. If you guys are in the Boca Raton area, I highly recommend you check it out. The atmosphere was not what I was expecting in the sense that it was by a pool, very relaxed, and I really enjoyed it. So I actually just got back from the beach with Carly. Her and I went to Yes the Beach. It is 82 degrees still here in Florida. So it's just mind boggling to think that some of you guys are buried in snow and freezing your butts off because I just tanned for an hour and was actually so hot at one point. I was just like, this is almost unbearable. But we also went to lunch at the Tin Muffin Cafe. I got a curried chicken salad sandwich with um, cream of mushroom soup and Carly got avocado toast with cream of mushroom soup and then we both got the house bun coffee and we tried the banana cake and it was amazing and one of the guys that worked there, um, he might have been the owner, but he saw us eyeballing all the desserts that he was bringing out so he also brought us a piece of their chocolate cake and it was just so good, so relaxing. And then we went to Cosmoprof and Salon Centrix. So I did pick up two things and I wanted to show you what I got. I've heard amazing, amazing reviews about Diva Curl. So I do have relatively curly hair and the texture underneath my hair is just so frizzy and dry and it's just constantly in need of moisture. So I figured by getting a shampoo that specifically caters to curly hair, it might really help form those curls a lot better and allow me to wear my hair naturally more often. Now I do wear my hair natural 99 points 9% of the time, but every once in a while I do use heat on it and if I could prevent that and just kind of rock a natural style all the time and just have my hair always look put together and well done, then I'm happy with that. So I picked up the Diva Girl Low Poo Delight Shampoo and it is a Weightlessly Waves uh, Mild Lather Cleanser. So I really like on the back how it kind of gives you a description of is it for me? So it talks about um, if you have wavy hair that needs weightless moisture, this is a must have for body and frizz control. The mild lather is great for a thorough yet gentle cleanse. And then the next section it says what does it do? So it says it brings out the beauty of your natural waves. The balanced light formula cleanses the scalp and hair while fighting frizz and oiliness. It's made with rice protein for body and fullness. Lotus flower for bounce and chia flaxseed extract for blend. Um, chia flaxseed extract blend for defined waves that last. And then the last section says, how do I use it? It says, wet your waves in the shower, apply cleanser to your scalp and massage with your fingertips. As you begin to rinse, allow the water to help move the low poo through the ends. Make sure to rinse thoroughly by massaging your scalp again as the water runs over your waves. Follow with one condition delight. Now I didn't get the conditioner because I do still have an Aveda conditioner that I wanna use up, but I picked that up and let's see, at Cosmoprof, that was $11. And then I also picked up another product from Diva Curl, and this is their Diva Curl Super Cream. It is the Coconut Curl Styler. So again, with the sections, it says, is it for me? Do you have curly or super curly hair that craves silky moisture with your style? Then, oh yeah. It says, what does it do? Everything. This rich coconut oil infused styler gives you total freedom to express yourself with your curls. Whether you want smooth, soften, shape, stretch, moisturize, define, control, boost volume, twist out, tame frizz, and shine or switch up your look, Super Cream does it all. How do I use it? With Super Cream, less is more if your curls are fine to medium. Rub the product between your palms and smooth over your curls. If your hair is thick, apply in sections for thorough coverage. To stretch your curls, airy look. Um, oh wait, to stretch your curls, apply to wet hair in a downward motion. To get a tasseled airy look, apply to damp hair and shake at the root once to dry, 
one stride to boost curls. I can't read. It's starting to become uh, gibberish to me now. <laughs> to refresh a tired curl, apply a small amount to your fingertips, smooth into the curl, and wrap around your pointer finger to reshape. So I'm excited to try both of these products. This was $14, so very affordable. And um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried Diva Curl. I am very excited to try it because my hair care routine is just not the best right now. I have a lot of old products that need to be tossed out and um, I need to reintroduce things to my hair. I definitely need to um, revamp my hair care regimen. So if you have any products that you think I should try, please leave them down below. I'm also looking for like a dry texturizing spray and a really good hairspray. So if you have either of those, please let me know. I'd really like to hear it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's very short, but I just wanted to show you a quick update as to what's been going on in my life. Of course, the question I think you guys are all wondering is what's next, and that's to be decided, to be continued. I will keep you posted. I'm kind of just trying to figure it out. I'm in the process of working on my resume and kind of deciding what I want to do and what kind of direction I want my life to go in. Of course, um, YouTube is going to be around. I'm not quitting that anytime soon, but that brings me to ask you guys if you have any questions you want me to answer, also comment down below because I plan on doing an updated Q&A. Haven't done one of those in a really long time and I figured I'd love to answer your questions if you have any if you guys have you know any interest in any aspect of my life you can ask me in the comments down below nothing's too personal for the most part some people get a little creepy on here and you know that's a little too personal we don't need to talk about my you know life in that sense but if you have any questions about my dreams aspirations my plans my favorite products definitely feel free to do that so I guess that means it is time to go and until my next video I will see you guys then bye Mwah.